Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2 and I'm back again with another series review. I just recently watched the most latest version of Emerald City and it was called They Came First. And as predicted, a lot of my stipulations, predictions, um, <clears throat> theories, hypotheses have come to pass. We know who the Tin Woodsman is. We now <laughs> are aware that Scarecrow, or Lucas, is not going to be paired with Dorothy. Although, I really wanted to see them together, but I had a feeling that it wouldn't last. I just thought, you know, I have just this sense that he is Glenda's property. And... Yeah, I, I actually had that deduction from the trailer for this particular episode. And uh, Sylvia, she's a very interesting character as well. <clears throat> she also belongs to Glinda. <laughs> and Dorothy is hailed as being the savior who has returned Glinda's property. And I thought, ooh... No, but of course, those two being citizens of Oz and what Lucas says they came first, that's where the episode title comes in. I thought, ah, uh, the rule of the land and ironclad um, conduct, and who has the clout and prestige would definitely be Glinda, I would think. And, of course, we get to see the gauntlets again. It's so amazing. I just... Those gauntlets are so awesome! I want a pair. <laughs> They're just so cool. And just badass. I just... I love them. I, I mean, I've always been attracted... I'm, I'm a water sign, but uh, wind ability, I think, would be really, really righteous as well. It's um, becoming more and more fierce and what Oz does just made me so so angry I thought how could you you are a monster you are just I am starting to hate him even more I, how, I know he thinks that he's protecting the people but why it's just so terrible and <laughs> of course now we know his connection with with Dorothy's parents, and I, I thought that's interesting, but I, I just feel like there's something more to that. I, I don't know why, but something gives me, maybe it's possible that somebody in Dorothy's family made the journey to Oz even before Dorothy was ever born. I don't know, maybe this was done in a fanfic, but it's, it's probably been compounded upon, explored at some point, but... <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Well, really haven't seen any evidence of this. this that's just uh, me going out on a limb. There's really nothing confirming or denying that or even suggesting it's plausible. I'm just thinking, hmm. I like to go outside the realms of possibility. But this was a very revealing episode is especially with uh, well my theory of of tip was right we all knew everybody on the boards on the forums they had all concluded that tip was ozma i thought oh yeah that makes sense um i really <laughs> i want tip and and jack to be together i know that sounds stupid but i just i love that pairing i, I just think they're perfect his jack was her best friend and even in the books even though she subsequently murdered him accidentally, yeah, I, I still think that that could be fixed and maybe they could be the power couple. I don't know. It's just me and my, um, <laughs> my wanton ability to just ship people. I, I ship a lot of things. You know, it's, I, I ship really unusual things just because it makes me happy. And I... I like to see people in love. I think love is a beautiful thing. <laughs> and I think it's what makes the world a better place. Um, 
Uh, I really don't have that much else to say about this particular episode, only that there are three episodes left in, in this season, and it is only becoming more intense, and I'm starting to wonder just how much um, prestige or ability or influence that Glinda has, and I'm not... It kind of makes me think that if it's anything like um, Wicked, because they said it's, it's going to become Wicked, Elphaba, I think that Elphaba is already in league with with Oz. Well, we know that in, in the book, she's his daughter, but I don't... It just doesn't make you believe that. he He's got some struggles of his own. He's not entirely he seems like he's very torn like he's tormented in many ways and a lot of the characters are a lot of a lot of characters have their own kind of battles and demons that they're facing and it's it's very intriguing and what makes the show very um interesting and mysterious to watch there are a lot of enigmas that i'm still going hmm this is quite the conundrum <laughs> and i'm still trying to figure it out i don't really this um really didn't give me a whole lot to work with it just proved a lot of my ideas that I had from before and and just made them canon uh most questions were answered but it left more questions that remain unanswered that I'm hoping will be um fielded in maybe the next three episodes I hope we'll see uh yet again more really unbelievable cinematography done by Tarsum and uh my question is was this filmed in New Zealand because there's a whole lot of green and I'm I'm understanding as to why this happened because New Zealand other than Ireland is one of the greenest places on earth and what better place to film something that has to do with emerald I mean the color and just the whole idea of that uh color scheme and yeah then again we're we're working with uh just uh, analogous colors with uh, it just turns your whole idea of uh, sim symbolism of uh, uh, colors and what they mean and like with Glinda she's wearing white which is pure virginal um, holy sacred and she's coming across as a, an ice queen a real bitch and she just is a character that I am coming to hate. I mean, literally hate. And <laughs> I don't know if I hate her more than I hate the wizard, but uh, it's it's a contest, and I don't understand her motives. And she's really not giving me much of a reason to to like her right now. But uh, we'll see if uh, Tarsum develops this character more. In his. Uh, indelible often <laughs> imitated style but this was a really good episode and i'm looking forward to the the three to come and i will definitely review them as soon as i see them so until next time live long prosper ciao tootsie